Welcome to the Genealogy Gems Podcast. It's a show filled with family history research strategies and techniques, news and entertainment, and inspiration. And I'm your host, Lisa Louise Cook. Welcome to a very special edition of the Genealogy Gems Podcast. This is episode 147, and I'm Lisa Louise Cook. And today, I'm throwing sort of a virtual Christmas open house. In this episode, we're going to visit with longtime listeners, friends of the show, and some of the folks behind the scenes here at Genealogy Gems who make this show possible. And since these folks are not only all over the country, but around the world, and I can't pull them all together here, I'm going to them. So hop in the sleigh and come along with me. We're taking off from sunny but chilly California and heading first to Australia for a surprise visit with longtime listener and premium member Dot, who lives in New South Wales. Now, she doesn't know that we're coming, so I think it's going to be a bit of a surprise. Hello. Hi, is Dot there? Speaking. Hi, Dot. Hi. This is Lisa Louise Cook. Hello, Lisa. It sounded like your voice, but I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Oh, wonderful. Now I'm talking to you. <laughs> well, wonderful. Yes, I'm, yeah, really well. It, it's Friday morning here, and I, I'm just up. We're just working out about going Christmas shopping with my daughter. Okay, so first of all, you're in Australia. What temperature is it? Um, the temperature now, I'll just check my iPad and I'll tell you straight away. That, um, You're so techy with your iPad. <laughs> thanks to you. Thanks to you. That, um, oh, dear, I can't even think straight now. That, um, oh, Kate's telling me. She's got her eye. What is it, Kate? Currently 26.3. Oh, now that's Celsius. Top of, top of 36 today. Okay. It's, it's, it's quarter to nine in the morning. So is that fairly warm? Yeah, yes, that's, that's warm. Says the ignorant uh, American who only talks in oh. Fahrenheit terms. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> you might have to work that one out. So um, you have been listening to the show for a long time, haven't you? I certainly have. Yeah. Uh, I think you were probably one of the first Aussies I heard from. Oh, I- Am I? I? How long have I been there for a couple of years? At least oh, a few years now, wouldn't it? Yeah. I think you've contributed to some of those one million downloads that we just celebrated here on the show. We just hit one million downloads. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. Thank you so much for including that little little bit. Cause I, I, just, I just love your podcast. And so I said, I'll oh, just thank it. You know, I just write a nice thank you there. It is. You are you are so sweet. I loved having that on the infographic. And okay, so I have to ask you, what's one of the ways that you're sneaking a little family history into your family's Christmas this year? What are you doing? Well, what I'm doing, and I haven't done it yet, is I'm going to make a game of co- like you know, do you have concentration or pairs? You know? Yeah, uh huh, concentration. And what I'm going to do for my little two year old daughter and granddaughter is make a game where I'm going to. Do my do like mummy and daddy and 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 grandpa and pa, and have a game of um, make up a little game of pairs or concentration using the family. That's a great idea. Getting her thinking about those relationships. That's right. Because what I thought. Do you listen to Genies Down Under? Um, yes, know, I've the, heard Maria's um, podcast a couple of times. Podcast and and her la- her last one was on crafts for Christmas. And so, and, and she had all different ideas. And so I wrote to her and I said, another idea is with having a game of concentration, but putting your ancestors in it, making up a game of concentration using your, you know, put, putting your, the photos of your God of your grandparents and your great grandparents so that everybody gets to know the faces and who they are. Yeah, you could do that around the dinner table. I believe when I was in London last year, I ran into Daniel Horowitz from My Heritage, and they have some kind of a card set that they put together like that. I believe. I think you can do it right from the My Heritage tree, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, okay, that's interesting. 
Yeah, so yeah, kind of fun. Awesome. I love that. Okay, so you're going to get the, the little granddaughter involved and then uh, maybe think about one for the grown-ups, too. That's right. That's right. I don't know if I'll have time for the grown-ups one, but, but anyway, get that get, get that going in my own head and doing that. Yeah, you certainly got... I sort of got to know all these American friends that through you, you know, all the people that you interview, which is fantastic. Wonderful. Well, one of these days you'll have to make it to the States. Have you been here before? Uh, I have. My um, my um, brother um, went to... Uh, got it. My, one of my brothers got his PhD from... Well, for one from Princeton, and my other brother got his PhD... Went to Stanford and met his wife at Stanford. How lovely. So he, it's very hard to get my husband to go on holidays, but he goes to weddings and funerals. So I was lucky <laughs> enough for, for my brother to get married in San Francisco. So back in 1991, my husband and myself and my three children, we went over and, and did a you know, up and down the uh, West Coast. Wonderful. Yeah, Stanford is just down the road from where I live. So yes, we were in yes. our neck of the woods. Well, it's so nice to finally talk to you in person. I just wanted to, to say hi. You were one of my uh, people that came to mind that I thought, hmm, we've got to include Dot in the open house oh, Christmas fantastic. party. <laughs> and you have to come over to Australia one of these years and, and talk over here. I would love to. I need I need to put together, sit down and really put together a schedule and see if I can't uh, convince my husband <laughs> that such a trip is definitely warranted. Yeah, it would be wonderful. How'd you like to spend Christmas on Christmas Island? How'd you like to spend a holiday away across the sea? How'd you like to spend Christmas on Christmas Island? How'd you like to hang your stocking on a great big coconut tree? How'd you like to stay up? Hello? Mary? Yeah. Hi, this is Lisa Louise Cook. Hello, Lisa. How, How are, you? are you? Oh, you surprised me. Yeah. <laughs> You've been such a longtime listener and a longtime premium member. I just wanted to call and say hi and invite you to the party and um, wish you a very Merry Christmas. You've been listening to the show for a long time, haven't you? I have. I think I maybe started just a few weeks after you uh, started your podcast back in wow. 2007. Right in the beginning. Oh, my gosh. That's, yes. I didn't realize it had been that long. And Now, I know a lot of people have, have told me they've written in and they've said, Oh, I'm listening to you while I'm exercising, I'm gardening. When are you listening to the podcast usually? Uh, it's changed. When I first started listening to you, I downloaded the uh, uh, podcast, burned it to a CD, and listened when I drove in my car. But in about the last year or so, I've been downloading it to my Droid phone, and uh, since I'm retired now, I listen to it when I either go for walks or around the house here. Oh, perfect. So you don't have to mess with the CDs. You can just put it yeah. right on the smartphone. I do, yeah. So it works really well. Oh, fun. Awesome. Well, are you finding ways to um, weave a little bit of family history into your Christmas this year? What are your plans? Uh, I have kept my family up to date on my uh, family history research, and I, I will either send them an email or um, I'm not doing anything in my... Well, this year in my Christmas letter, we did. I put my Facebook contact. Oh, good. So this, and so you... I have created a separate page on Facebook for my um, great-grandfather, who was the immigrant ancestor. Oh, fun. So he's got his own Facebook profile? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so I just added that, of course, under my own name and under the option of create a page. And so, so far, nothing really has happened, but we can always hope. Oh, how fun. What, you're, so you're pretty techy. You tend to try out all these things. You're not afraid, are you? No, that's the fun part. Good. Oh, that's I found awesome. your uh, Google suggestions probably the, the best of any I've ever come across, your explanations for Google Earth and the Google Alerts. Wonderful. Oh, I love Google Alerts. I mean, I, I use them for everything. What do you mostly use them for? Mostly for the names. And sometimes for the uh, name of the town, if they came from a very small town or village in Germany, I'll put that in. 
and uh, sometimes it's you know worthwhile, and sometimes it's something I've posted myself. So that's kind of fun. yeah. <laughs> well, at least you know you're getting the, the right stuff out there. Exactly. I love it. It's kind of like getting uh, Christmas presents in your email box all year round. That's right. You know, when a, when a Google alert pops up with uh, some information, that's how you know somebody's out there talking about it. I'm so glad to hear that you're putting some of the gems to use. And I wanted to thank you so much for being a longtime listener and a premium member. And and um, glad that you could join me for a couple of minutes at my little, my little virtual open house. Well, thank you, Lisa. And Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And I'll look forward to more gems from you in the new year. Another friend of the Genealogy Gems podcast is Janet Havorka. She's the owner of Family Chartmasters at FamilyChartmasters.com. Janet and I met at the first conference I ever went to as a speaker, and she was a wonderful friend and help to the new kid on the block. Now, years later, we are close friends and sometimes even roommates at some of the conferences that we go to, including the upcoming Who Do You Think You Are live show in London. Let's pop in at her house in Utah and see if she has some hot chocolate on the stove. Hi, dear. Hi, Janet. How are you? Good, good, good. Good. I am calling to invite myself into your house to have a Genealogy Gems Christmas open house. That's what I'm doing. It's a virtual (laughs) open house. Yay. And I thought of I you can, because yeah. you've been such a big friend of the show. Oh, thank you. It's and, easy when you love somebody so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and that's the joy of doing, well, genealogy. So many people, we all make some of our bestest friends yeah. doing this, this crazy stuff that we do. Because we love genealogists, yeah. I know. Well, and they're the nicest people. So how they are. are you doing? You have been, do I get to say what you've been busy working on that's almost about to come to fruition? Oh, yeah. You want to get the scoop? You want to be the one with the big yeah. scoop? Merry Christmas to me. Yeah, Merry, Merry Christmas scoop. to you, the big scoop. We have a book that's coming out in a couple of weeks, which we're really, really excited about. It's called Zap the Grandma Gap. <laughs> I love that and, title. And it's really fun. Fun, easy ways to get uh, your family connected with their family history and with you. You know, connect yourself to your children and grandchildren by connecting them to their family history. And I'm so excited about it. We've got lots of plans and all sorts of things, and I haven't announced it yet, and now you just have. (laughs) Awesome. Well, I want to be sure that everybody knows. um, I don't want them to know that this book is coming out because they're going to absolutely want to make sure they're ready to pick it up because – I know you've done presentations on like involving your kids and stuff with family history and you have amazing, wonderful kids that I know you have already, you've been kind of practicing all of this on. I have. Um, But I love this concept, the whole idea. I cannot wait to see the book because I think even if we don't have our own kids, we might have grandkids, right? So everybody's got some kid that they could share this with. Yeah. You know, as I've been working with my editor, um, I've realized a lot of this book, too, is about what my parents and my grandparents did with me. I I haven't appreciated until I wrote this book what a family history-oriented family I come from. And we're I'm very, very close to my parents and my sisters and, and our grandparents. We were very close, too. And I'm really realizing that a lot of that is because of the family history orientation in my family, that, that uh, family history, just by definition binds a family together and I think it's really um I I'm gonna give you another scoop my parents don't know this yet but I'm dedicating the book to my parents 
And it's because of what wonderful parents they are, and a large part of that is because of how grounded they are in their family history and what a sense of purpose and a sense of perspective and wisdom they gave us by being grounded in their family history. And, and, um, so don't tell my parents. Of course not. And I can't wait. I can't wait because I get to stay with your parents in a couple yes. of months when, when I go to London yes. and, and get to stay with you and them at their house because they're over in England right now. Yeah, they are. Yeah. They are. We get to go visit them and to go to Who Do You Think You Are Live. And and that's half of why I'm going to Who Do You Think You Are Live because I really love my parents. And, and I'm just, like I said, I'm just realizing this book is really a testament to them and to, to what... Uh, a close family I'm blessed with and and it's really to teach you guys how to do the same because family history just does that family yeah. history binds See, people together you are so uniquely qualified to talk about it because I having met your family I know the family that you're talking about and the way that it was truly a part of the lifestyle in your family yes. I've been talking yes. about that a little bit on the show that whole idea of the family history lifestyle you know and that is more than just doing your research but it's actually how it can be embedded into your life and how you can share it and how you can also receive reward from it and and I love that that you're not just lecturing us to go get the kids involved in our life but you're really talking about what you've learned about what that's meant for you and it's yeah the book is just chock full of specifics and step by step and this is how you do it and this is and if and if that doesn't work try this and yeah it's just it's just a chock full book of ideas and I'm really excited because I think it's going to be a really great book. So. Well, so, okay, so one of the questions that, as I've been dropping in on people during my little uh, making the rounds today is mm-hmm. asking people kind of what are you doing to kind of sneak in a bit of family history into the, your Christmas celebration? I oh, know. oh, oh, oh. Yeah, oh, let me hear. <laughs> I mean, you're the queen of this stuff. I can't even tell you I'm so excited. Well, okay, so the book hasn't gotten out. You, you know, a normal person would write a book to have it ready for people to buy for Christmas. I didn't do it that way. <laughs> Partially well, because you're normal. You're, you're a special Janet. Yeah. I'm a special person. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're, we're in the middle of Christmas rush with family chart masters. So we're doing yes. tons of genealogy charts and helping people, you know, do beautiful decorative genealogy charts for their, for their Christmas presents. And uh, we're trying to get that done because next week I get to leave to England and take my children over to see my parents for Christmas and we're taking my children out to the farm uh, out in, in Somerset where my family history goes back to the 1600s. And, oh, my goodness, I'm so excited. <laughs> I, I remember so, having such goosebumps when you were telling me about yes, the when I, last yeah. year when you went. And how cool that you're bringing the kids and, yep. and making sure that you're fitting that into the whole thing. I think they're going to be blown away because I know they've done some of the research. So when they yeah. see the real thing. Yes. Yeah, we um, so all of this work, getting the book finished and doing charts and everything, culminates in next week. We're going to turn the keys of the company over to a couple of our trusted employees, and we're taking off for England. And I get to show them the uh, will from the 1700s, and um, we get to go see the church where my great 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 grandfather was a pastor, and we get to. Um, go to this farm and and we're just super excited just so excited because I really hope my kids will have that earth-shaking experience now my parents took me when I was 16 my parents took me to Switzerland and I wasn't the least bit interested in family history at that point (laughs) to say the least and um, it was so moving to me to walk the the streets and to and to see the church where my ancestors were in Switzerland I'm really praying that it moves my children that much. You know, they're teenagers. I don't know if it will, but I think it will even if I if they don't tell me. Of course, they won't say, wow, Mom, this is so awesome. I'm glad you drag us out to this family history site. But I think it will impress them whether or not they'll admit it to me right now. I think they'll admit it to me when I'm when they're 30. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. they'll admit it to me now. So but you know, you I, just write it down, put it in your date book that you get to check back in and make sure you get your kudos down the, decades yes. down the road. <laughs> 
but you know, the wonderful thing about having, particularly in the case of going back to England, is that the nice thing is, is it looks like you're walking on a movie set. I mean, they don't have to even imagine hardly what it might have looked like, you know, years and years and years ago, but it, it has such a wonderful it's feel so to it. Yeah. 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 And of course, we get to see my parents too, and they love their grandparents. And we're just in, I'm really excited for Christmas. We get to just really go do some fun things. So. And we'll be back in January. We'll launch this book, and and um, we've got lots of exciting things going on for that too when we come back. So, and then we're we're both hitting the road. I know yep. our paths are going to cross many times. Thank goodness. Yes. I know you probably think I'm stalking you, but I just no, no, no. With you <laughs> because now we have to tell everybody how we got to spend our time. You know, isn't this silly? I cannot even. I'm just getting genealogy Alzheimer's. Where? What conference were we at? Was it NGS that we would had our spa day? Oh gosh, I... Cincinnati, right? Cincinnati, yeah, Cincinnati, yeah. I think that was yeah. NGS. Yeah, that was awesome. We need to do that again. Okay, yeah. So just so those of you listening, get together. <laughs> don't just do genealogy. Janet and I, <laughs> we spent probably more time preparing and making appointments to have our spa day time. <laughs> <laughs> in addition to doing the conference right that's because we work hard and we deserve it that's we, right we, we do a lot here and <laughs> we deserve it and, At least and that's it's what we told fun with Lisa you know you're going to make all your listeners jealous of me that I get to hang out with you so you know <laughs> well, it was fun, and I'm I'm hoping, um, you know, that one of these times here soon that you and I are going to be able to get together and and maybe come up with a way that our listeners can come and hang out with us. We'll just have to awesome. dangle that out there, and because I'm I'm still thinking about those ideas you and I have talked about. But um, let me just say thank you very much for um, my my virtual hot cup of cocoa as I hit your house That's and pretty, yeah. have our little house together and. <laughs> I'm so glad we got a chance to visit before you headed off to England, but uh, I get to be there with you soon. So yes, have yes. a wonderful time. Which is going to be even awesome too. Now, is it too late for people if they wanted to order a chart? How, how off the charts is, is it deadline wise? How off the charts is it deadline wise? <laughs> it's getting pretty close. It's At pretty this tight. point you're into rush fees and, and rush shipping and things like that. Yeah, we're getting pretty tight here. Um, if somebody wanted to get a hold of me in the next couple of days, we'd probably still be able to do it for you, but we're getting pretty tight. Uh, charts just take a little more, you know, we want to make sure it's a, just an absolutely fantastic representation of your family. And, and that takes a little bit of time. Sometimes. That's the perfect so. New Year's resolution. Yes. Start today. It, plan it makes it. Yeah, it makes a great Mother's Day present. It makes a great Christmas present next year. You know, start putting it together, and we'd love to help you do a beautiful thing for your family. Stay right there. There's more of the Genealogy Gems Christmas Open House right after this. I've got some great news for all you genealogists out there. Roots Magic 6 is now available, and it offers some of the most customer-requested features, like online publishing, the ability to search every record, not just people, an editable timeline view, which is really incredible, and new web tags, which lets you link people, sources, places, and research log items to web pages, plus dozens of other great enhancements, and of course, all the built-in features that you've come to enjoy. There is a little something here for everyone. Now, if you're already a devoted Roots Magic user like I am, or if you're looking to take the next step in your family history research and finally start recording your family tree in your own genealogy database, or if you've just been wanting to make a switch to a much more user-friendly program, there's no better time to get your copy of Roots Magic 6. Do it now. Go to rootsmagic.com and download your risk-free trial of Roots Magic 6. You'll see why professionals and beginners alike choose Roots Magic at rootsmagic.com.
Next up, we are heading the sleigh towards Cincinnati, Ohio, the home of Family Tree Magazine, and my dear friend and the editor of Family Tree Magazine, Allison Dolan, who has a very special Christmas gift coming this year. Welcome to my open house, Allison. This is my virtual Genealogy Gems Christmas open house. Well, thanks for having me. <laughs> well, you're an important part of the whole Genealogy Gems world here. Um, obviously, my other little side gig is Family Tree Magazine. It has just been such a joy to work with you for the last, gosh, it's been over five years now. Can you believe it? It's really hard to believe it's been that long, but I've definitely enjoyed working with you, too. I'm so glad we managed to connect with each other and get the podcast scene going for Family Tree Magazine. Exactly. I remember that day meeting up at a at a conference, and boy, since then, um, a lot has changed. You have been so busy, and... Well, tell everybody about your exciting news because I don't. I know we've talked a little bit. Did we touch on on the Family Tree Magazine show? Um, I don't think we've actually talked about it on our show. Got to tell the genealogy <laughs> gems folks because it's the best Christmas present you've got going this this time of year. Tell us what you've got going. Indeed, it is a fantastic Christmas present. Um, I'm going to be adding a new branch to my family tree um, come January. Yes, my husband and I are expecting a baby. And so we're very excited and um, we're, again, happy to be expanding our family tree in the forward direction (laughs) instead of the backward direction. Yeah, you're doing the, is this reverse genealogy then? It it is, I guess. (laughs) I'm so happy for you guys. Gosh, when you guys got married, I mean, you just look so blissfully happy and just to to be starting your family now and I just you're joining the ranks of the rest of us who are chasing kids and and changing diapers, which I'm doing again now as a grandma. So it never ends. Yeah. I realize that. Yeah, you are. And uh you know, I think one of the things that's kind of nice for me is having all of this background in family history is, you know, knowing that now I have a new generation to pass that on to. So um, that's pretty gratifying. All that hard work hopefully (laughs) will not go to waste. (laughs) Of course not. Well, and I've been kind of asking everybody, you know, are you finding a way to kind of sneak family history into your current day family's Christmas this year? Are, Are there any things that you're doing that are kind of um, a throwback to the the generations or just kind of a remembrance of ancestors in your family? Actually, a little bit. Um, you know, with the 1940 census being released this year, um, it it's an opportunity for those more, you know, still living people to um, see themselves on a genealogy record. And so um, for my grandparents who are still living, um, um, which is fantastic, yeah. and as well as for my in-laws, I have just kind of, Um, gathered up those records and printed them out so they could see um, their parents live and in person on a uh, census record, which is something that, you know, most of us haven't had the opportunity to because the records have been too far back. So, um, you know, that's my little contribution from genealogy for this year, um, the holiday presents. That is a great idea, particularly for the older people in our family. You know, I know the ones in my family, they're like, I don't need anything. Don't get to send me a picture, you know. (laughs) But what a a really cool thing because that's something that you, kind of, you know, obviously specialize in and something that you can share with them. Exactly. You know, because I have exposure to that every day, um, you know, it's real easy for me to get in there and, you know, find something relevant. And so, you know, I felt like that was something that I could share from my day to day um, that would have some meaning to them. So absolutely. Um, glad to do it. Well, and I, I imagine throwing in a new baby in there is uh, pretty big on their list, too. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> How fun. Well, both you and Diane have added to your families, and that's just really cool to see. I, I, I look forward to talking to you maybe next year on this show to get your feeling on, um, does, does family history look any different to you than once you have a child? Because, I mean, I imagine, I know for me, Um, I was always interested as a kid, but when I got to be an adult and then I had my own children, it seemed like it kept evolving for me in terms of what I was trying to get out of it, I guess. I can see how that would definitely be true. And, you know, 
just based on the place you are in your life changes so much when you have children. So um, I'm fully anticipating that I will probably have less time to devote to my own genealogy, uh, which was already pretty, I was stretched pretty thin as it was. But, um, you know, I I do have the benefit that not everybody else does of doing this for a living. So at least I get exposed to things every day. And, um, you know, when databases come out and new tools are introduced, of course, it would only make sense for me to try those out on my own family. Exactly. They they get to be our guinea pigs, don't they? They do. (laughs) Well, I kind of consider you part of my genealogy family, if you will, my extended family, because one role that you have played, and I I haven't um, really had an opportunity to talk about it that much on this show for the listeners, is that um, you've just played a really big role in my online life, if you will. I mean, because you were already taking the magazine into such a diversified direction when I came on the scene doing podcasts, and you were one of those people that I knew I could turn to and say, are you trying this? Does, are you doing this with your website? What, what's going on? And, and you've just been such a wonderful kind of a, a guiding light for me in terms of starting up a little endeavor like this in the genealogy world. I really appreciate that. Well, it's been great to have someone to bounce ideas off of as well. And, um, you know, you're doing such great work at Genealogy Gems. I'm really happy to support that. Well, it's it's wonderful working with you. I know that we're going to be um, chatting a lot. I can't wait to see the pictures. You know where my Facebook is. I wanna, That's right. I'm going to monitor <laughs> Facebook looking for, for photos of the new baby. But congratulations. Have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. And thank you for uh, letting me isn't this kind of weird usually you drop in on somebody else's open house but i'm hosting this open house but i'm dropping on on you but thank you either way for letting me drop in on you and and having you join us here on the show oh it's my pleasure Several years of producing the podcast, updating the website, and expanding premium membership, it became clear to me that I just can't do this alone. About two years ago, my daughter Vienna joined the team as audio editor, which turned out to be wonderful and afforded me so much more time to grow Genealogy Gems. But when she went on maternity leave in August, that's when Sunny Jane Morton joined the team. Now, you'll recognize her name from the little series of gems that she did for the show last year and, of course, her writings for Family Tree Magazine. Sunny took on editing responsibilities, and she also helps me research and write some of the gems that you hear on the show and read on my blog. I feel so lucky to now have two talented ladies involved in the production of Genealogy Gems. So let's steer the sleigh to Sunny's house and see what she's up to. Merry Christmas, Sunny. Thank you. You too. I wanted to introduce you to everybody. Now, they know you because you've been on the show and you've and you've talked about your book and you've got all these things that you do. But I'm really excited because this year I made a big leap and I realized after about five years that I, I needed some help <laughs> and things have been growing and I am so excited to let everybody know that you've kind of joined the Genealogy Gems team and you've been helping me out as editor and it's just been fabulous well it's been fabulous for me too i sure enjoy working on the back end of genealogy gems <laughs> well so what we gotta tell everybody what you do is uh um helping me put together the blog posts um you're flushing out a lot of the the gems it's amazing how many kind of ideas go flying past my desk and i'm like ah, i need somebody to really think this through and you've been doing that and then you edit the audio, so you're the one person who hears all the shows with all the mistakes. You know, I kind of like hearing the bloopers, <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, but it's it's just as satisfying to edit them out so nobody else has to hear them. There you go. 
<laughs> Nobody knows how many bloopers there really are behind the scenes of things. You know, we got together. Was when did we first meet? A couple of years ago. A couple of years ago, Ohio Genealogical Society that's is where we right. met. That's right. Well, because you're out in Ohio, and that's the other cool thing. I mean, not only can can you podcast and talk to people around the world, but I can now have people helping me and working with me who don't live in my neighborhood. You know, you live across the country, and the only thing we have to worry about is time zones. Yeah, as long as we keep that three-hour time difference in mind, we do just fine. Exactly. Well, so tell everybody a little bit about um, what you've been doing, again, more specifically with Genealogy Gems, but also what you've been kind of doing on your own. You've had a busy year. I have had a busy year. Um, I had a book come out with Family Tree Books last year, the end of last year, on writing your life story, which um, I have introduced to genealogy audiences as a tool to capture other people's life story or, or your own. So that's a really fun book. Um, but mostly I, I do a lot of genealogy content, um, largely with Family Tree Magazine. I'm a contributing editor there, but I also write for the expert series at archives.com and I'm the editor of Ohio Genealogy News which goes out to all of the members of the Ohio Genealogical Society here here in Ohio and beyond so I've done a lot with print work and you know can I can I tell you something about something I've noticed um, sure. <laughs> the difference between working in print which is you know has been 90% of what I've done until now, the difference between communicating by print and communicating by podcast. I have to say it's been a lot of fun to work on the podcast and to think about what you do with genealogy gems. You know, you're kind of like the CNN of genealogy. (laughs) I don't know if you think of yourself that way, but, you know, genealogy can be kind of a lonely pursuit. Yeah. We get so passionate about what we do, and sometimes we really just want to hear other voices be just as excited. And your voice communicates that. You give us company. You know, we listen to your conversations that you have uh, with others that we wish we could meet and be talking to. Uh, so uh, you give us the news. <laughs> like right, right. We get all the news and commentary about the news. You do a little bit of uh, investigative reporting for us sometimes. You introduce us to experts that we admire, people we can learn from. And, you you know, you even inject a sense of humor and <laughs> compassion <laughs> and perspective that really helps us, I think, um, feel a fresh sense of energy and perspective on what we do in searching for our roots. I know I always go away from one of your podcast sessions with a um, sort of renewed vitality and a, kind of a fun look. I take another fun look at what it is that I do with my own family history. Oh, that is so sweet of you to say. And if I just had uh, James Earl Jones introducing the show, I'd be all set, I guess, with the right. thing. I don't know. <laughs> That, that, that's funny. It keeps me on top of things. You know? It, you know, it does. And it, it's helpful to us because you know, CNN doesn't broadcast genealogy news. What? But we I care know. about What's with that? You know, oh, seriously. Come on. Where's the, <laughs> there's a sports section. There's a, yeah. a local section. Well, what about the genealogy news section? So, and everybody has a family. Stuff. So it seems like it's a pretty um, applicable topic, don't you think? I would think. You would think. So you'll, you'll have to do that for us. You'll have to. You're our CNN. Oh, well, I appreciate that. And and I am, I could not do it. You know, people were saying, oh, when do you sleep? Well, the, the only way I could, I couldn't find any more hours to be awake. So being able to get someone like you with, you know, your talents, your writing ability, I mean, because writing isn't really my big strength. I mean, I can do it. And I, and, and but I guess it's not that it's not a strength. I don't enjoy it that much. I'm just, I'm a big talker, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. but you are such a talented writer and I've learned a lot in also seeing how you put together some of the, the gems that we do on the blog and, and some of the gems for the show. And I love um, seeing your approach to it. It's, it's a very um, warm and personal and, and more than anything, I felt like you're you're just, you're like my other side. (laughs) I mean, I did not have to explain to you at all kind of where I was coming from because you were just, we're just right there on the same page. And that's really the fun part about it. It is a lot of fun to work together. I think we have the same approach to things. And, and if it comes, if it all comes down to a sense of humor, then (laughs) then that's fine. 
that's that's the best part of anything. Well, I appreciate you uh, letting me drop in at your house virtually for my open house. We're doing this. Well, uh, this Merry Christmas. Fun. Thank you. And and tell everybody you've got wonderful little kidlets at your house. You're a mommy. I do. I have an 11-year-old who just started middle school. I have an 8-year-old who finally admitted this year that a couple of years ago, the 11-year-old spilled the beans about Santa, which the 11-year-old is denying. (laughs) But it's made for some uh, real fun adventures through the holiday season. And as we talk about the source of our our gifts, it's it's given us some fun opportunities. And then those are my two boys. And then I have a six-year-old girl who is a little piece of sunshine uh, who kind of wraps up, brings up the bottom end of the family there. So we're having a lot of fun this season with uh, our Santa hats and the tree is all decorated. Uh, we're shopping for each other and uh, planning to spend a lot of time with the family this year. I think we're our family holiday celebration will include jolly old St. Nicholas with a verse of each family. Jeremy wants uh, some magic cards. Alex wants some. <laughs> and we'll Aww. go down the line and have a verse about what each of the kids want this year. So That's wonderful. You're That'll doing- be our, only little, our own little memory maker. Exactly. Well, you're doing the most important thing that any genealogist or family historian can do, and that is is that you're like me in that you, you put your current family first. And I think that's the most important thing of all, isn't that you're building the memories for tomorrow that they're all going to be telling their kids and their grandkids about. And I think that's yes. wonderful. You, you can never put dead relatives before living ones. <laughs> exactly. Well, on that note, and that is so true. Thank you so much for being part of Genealogy Gems. I'm looking forward to 2013. We have a lot to do. We do, we do have a lot to do. I'm looking forward to it. All right. Take care, sweetie. Okay, bye-bye. Here comes Santa Claus. Here comes Santa Claus. Right down Santa Claus Lane. Blixen and Blixen and all his reindeers pulling on the reins. Bells are ringing, children singing, all is merry and bright. So hang your stockings and say your prayers, cause Santa Claus comes tonight. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus. It wouldn't be a party without the lights of my life, my grandsons Davey and Joey. Their mommy, my daughter Vienna, has uh, brought them by to check out Shasha's Christmas party decorations. A choo-choo train. Yeah. Is it a Christmas train? Yeah. It's on a train car. It's on a train car. That's right. Go see the houses. Come on. Look! In here! In here! Oh, there's another light. You found the other light? Did you find more? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's Christmas tree. Kesha star. What is it? It's a Christmas tree. It's a Christmas tree. Oh, that's so jelly. Uh huh. Uh oh 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 oh. I have more to show you. I show you in the kitchen. Go look in the kitchen. That's on the white. I'm sorry, mommy. I want to get that moment, okay? Did you find them? Yeah, it is. Ah, there it is. Pretty. There's more. There's more. There's more right here. Right here. Right here. Davy. Davy. Oh, ten in bomb. Oh, ten in bomb. The Troys and I may blitter. Oh, ten in bomb. Oh, ten in bomb. The Troys and I may blitter. Du gruns nick nu. So some is eight. Nein, up in winter. Venice night. Tannenbaum, oh Tannenbaum, the Troys and Dine Blitter. Ah, the harmonious voices of my friends, the band Venice. 
Now, you remember them from episode 39 and, of course, their song, The Family Tree. Well, this rendition of the classic O Christmas Tree can be found on their Christmas CD. It's called Christmas with Venice. And you can all visit them at venicecentral.com. Du grunds nek nu zu samme sejt Nein af fem vinter venes night. O tannenbaum, o tannenbaum Vi trøjes en dejne blætter Thanks so much for joining me for the Genealogy Gems Christmas Open House. I wish you a wonderful Christmas and happy Hanukkah. Um, Have fun making memories and creating your own family history this year with your family. Thanks so much for listening, friend. I'll talk to you soon in the new year.